everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be ranking all nine may 2014 movies i saw ranked in a tier list uh so yeah we're just gonna get straight into it starting off we have neighbors bad neighbors neighbors for me right tier i love neighbors neighbors is probably one of the best comedies that i've seen in 2014 so far I just love the dynamic between both Zac Efron and Seth Rogen. It works extremely well. The movie is extremely good. Great, I mean. And I just loved my time with Neighbours. It's just a fun comedy. A stoner comedy. No, it's not really a stoner comedy. But yeah, it's a great time. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. And next up, we have Chef. Great tier for me. I love Chef. Chef was a great movie. Has a great cast to it. From, who's in this cast? Jean Favreau, uh, Sofia Vergara, MJ Anthony, John Lugamozo, uh, Scarlett Johansson, Dustin Hoffman, Olivia Platt, Bobby Cannavale, Robert Downey Jr., directed by John Favreau, who directed Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Elf, and the Lion King, the Jungle Book live action, Sathora, and uh, unfortunately Cowboys vs. Aliens. Uh, but yeah, Chef is a movie I 100% recommend you check out. Uh, I can't believe it took me this long to see this movie for the first time ever. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be re-watching this movie uh, in the near future because I had an absolute blast with Chef. Uh, and then we have X-Men Days of Future Past. Another great movie for me. I won't, I wouldn't put it on the awesome tier for me. I just think it's great. I mean, it, it worked. But I, I think the, the hype for this film was too powerful. And kind of dropped down for me. Unfortunately, I still really love X-Men Days of, Days of Future Past. Don't get me wrong. It's a great movie. And it has a great cast, from Hugh Jackman to James McAvoy to Michael Fassbender to Jennifer Lawrence to Nicholas Holt, Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, uh, Hayley Berry, Elliot Page, Peter Dinklage, Anna Paquin, Evan Peters, directed by Brian Singer, who directed Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, sorry, X-Men Apocalypse, X-Men, the first one, X-Men 2. So he has directed... A lot of good movies. And yeah, X-Men Days of Future Past. Don't get me wrong, it's a great movie. And then The Amazing Spider-Man 2. For me, good tier. I enjoy The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I used to hate this movie. But now I actually really enjoy my time with The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I don't get why it gets all this hate for. Like, come on. Uh, but it has a great cast. From Andrew Garfield to Emma Stone. To Jamie Foxx to Dane DeHaan. To Colin Farrow. A great cast, and directed by Mark Webb, who directed the first Amazing Spider-Man, and going and is going to be directing the Snow White movie, the live action, which is awesome. But yeah, even though this movie does have a few problems with the plot, I still really enjoyed my time with the, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man too, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this movie again, one hundred percent. And then. We have a movie called Walk of Shame. Good tier. It was a good movie. I mean, it wasn't anything special. Just basically like this girl. They had like a one night stand. And now um, she's like late to like a, becoming a dream of a news anchor or something. Yeah, great cast. Elizabeth Banks, James Marsden. Great cast, read by Stephen Brill. Uh, who has done all terrible movies from Chubby Halloween to Little Nicky to Movie Forty Seven, uh, Morty, a uh, Movie Forty Three. Uh, yeah, this is probably one of his better films, I would say. But the Walk of Shame, it does have a few problems: the plot issues, character development, and some characters were just. Bleh. But um, yeah, it's a it's a fine film that I that I can enjoy 
And then next up, we have Godzilla. Good tier. That's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy my time with Godzilla. I wouldn't say it's, like, one of the best movies ever made in human possible. In humanly possible. Whatever you bloody call it. No. But it's a great cast. Don't get me wrong. From Aaron Taylor Johnson to Elizabeth Olsen to Brian Cranston. And directed by Gareth Edwards, who directed Rogue One, which I do enjoy, and is going to be directing The Creator, uh, which is a new movie coming out, which looks exciting and promising. But, yeah, Godzilla, there were a lot of problems with this movie, but that's really about it. I like the action. Godzilla, the actual Godzilla, could have been better, to be honest. But overall, it's a it's a entertaining movie. Too long though. Uh, next up, a million ways to die in the West. Okay, tier. I'm oh, sorry, no, meh tier. It's a meh tier. Um. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a comic, comedic Western movie that fell flat basically. Seth MacFarlane, Charlie Theron, Liam Neeson. Amanda Seinfeld, Neil Patrick Harris, and directed by Seth MacFarlane, who has directed Ted and Ted 2, and then The Million Ways to Die in the West, has directed a few good movies, except this movie. It's just a meh movie. It wasn't really a movie that I invested my time much. It was just a sit back, stupid flick, basically. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's basically about it for this movie. It's nothing special. The jokes, some of them landed, some of them didn't. So it's a bit of a hit and miss for me. And next up, Maleficent, meh tier. It's a meh movie. I mean, I've never really been a fan of Maleficent. Yeah, it's a good cast, I would say. Angelina Jolene is Maleficent. I like that. And directed by Rob Stomberg, who only directed the first season. Uh, yeah. Dad, there's nothing really much to say about this movie, but... It's, it's a f- mad Disney movie. It's not really a... Oh my god, like an amazing movie. No. No one near there. Uh, but yeah, the movie had a lot of plot issues. A lot of character development issues. And, yeah, that's that's basically about it for me. This movie was just a repeat, a repeat of the story, which I didn't really enjoy. And then, lastly, we have Blended. Bad tier for me. Uh, yeah, no, Blended, I was not a huge fan of. Uh, has Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore, Kevin Nelson, and Nilon, sorry, and Terry Crews, and George Way Frank. Koraki, who directed Click, The Wedding Singer, The Water Boy, uh, Zookeeper, Here Comes the Boom. Yeah, that's a, it's a, that's a, a movie. The jokes were not, even, the jokes were not even funny. The movie wasn't even that great. I still like the dynamic between Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. That was probably the only good thing about this movie, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't say you watch this movie because it's just boring. And yeah, that's really about it, uh, for me. So we're just gonna say, uh, my ranking. Uh, so in number nine, last place, is Blended. Blended, terrible, well, not really terrible, I would just say a bad comedy movie. And uh, number eight is Maleficent. Could have been better, but unfortunately it didn't really work for me. Uh, seven is a million ways to die in the West. Stupid comedy Western movie. Uh, six is Godzilla. Yeah, it's good. Well, that's about it. Uh, five is Walk of Shame. Same, it's good, but that is really the only thing that it has for it. Uh, four is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Near, near very good tier for me. Uh, three is X-Men Days of Future Past. I know, I know. I'm sorry, it's not number one, I'm sorry. Uh, but I still really enjoy it. Number two is Chef. 
uh, yeah, 100% recommend you check this movie out. It is a blast, and yeah, a surprising movie. And then number one for me is Neighbours. I absolutely love Neighbours, and I just, yeah, definitely check that movie out if you haven't seen it. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a massive help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.